Hello, this is Nagoji here, and this is just a quick announcement update. It's not like a Godzilla Month video, but that agree it is. But I just wanted to announce that a Daikaiju Legends collab is in the works. I just have to wait for the pie from Jake. I kind of already know what I want to do for the collab. I, I already kind of know what I want to do. It's going to be something similar to... The uh, zone fighter versus, but well, not really similar. It's just gonna be the only difference is on CG, and that's more serious. It's more serious than it's more serious and has a grounded tone, and it's more serious instead of the goofy fun that the zone fighter versus Kama Trio was. And plus, it's also gonna be a little bit longer because I want this to be like. A, I think I think the Mets running time I want this episode to be is around fifteen minutes, not a green outro. Around twenty minutes, not green outro or intro. Around twenty minutes. So it'd be like watching a full length episode. It's not gonna be canon to the Zone Fighter. Season it won't be canon. It but it won't be canon unless Jake decides to make it canon. But it will be like its own separate thing. It won't be canon. And I also have to probably give my audio lines to Jake. Yeah, probably give my audio lines to Jake. I'll be probably voicing the character Cosmos, which is um that figure. That Godzilla figure, that Final Wars Godzilla figure over there, which is painted and modified to be my own original character. I'm probably going to have to ship it to, um, I'm probably going to have to ship it to, um, to that Kaiju Legends, and he's probably going to have to do, like, a little bit of a paint job to it, because I probably can't. He could probably do a better paint job than I can. I did the dorsal plates. I did the paint job on the dorsal plates to make him look white and shiny. Make it look like he has flaming like day or on fire. I'm also going to add like a elbow spike on his right shoulder before I shut the door. Well, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably put it in the bag. And try to ship it to him. I don't. I, he could probably do like a better paint job than I can. To be honest, he could probably do a way better um, customization. He all it needs is like a paint job, not really like customization or anything. It just needs a better paint job. But I did alright. I could probably try to paint it a little bit better. Probably a little bit better than I did than what I did because it basically just was like special paints put on to it. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to paint it a little bit better before I ship the figure out to Jake. I'm gonna try to paint the figure white, well, at least the chest and the belly, and make it look like he has white tattoos on his arms. And white tattoos on his legs. Basically, that when what that is, it's basically just burning energy coming from his body. Burning like white energy coming burning white light coming from his body. And he's also got like a black fire tip at the end of the sail. A black flame, like Charizard. Like a black flame at the end of his sail. So yeah. And plus, he will also have like a white shoulder spike, and finally, he is made of that. His element is not really fire, more radiation at his highest peak. And he will probably have like a white atomic breath, <sighs> but yeah. Also, um, this Godzilla will probably be really overpowered and uh. Gonna be like Cosmos Godzilla. It's not really gonna be like a not just gonna be Zone Fighter and Cosmos Godzilla. It's gonna be like 
other ultras, other ultra characters trying to take down this cosmos threat. It'll basically be like a war of the monsters in a way, is what I'm trying to do with this project. It's basically just monsters, evil monsters, monsters who've been killed by a zone fighter. Or monsters who have been killed by zone fighter in the past, or if, well, not be killed, but been face who faced zone fighter in like the first season, like his most iconic foes from the first season, like Gamora. Yeah, basically Gamora, Decor, Gamora. Um, well, Gamora probably be in the setting. I don't know. I just want. I don't know. I have to think of the details, and plus, I also have to write a script for it before I actually figure out what I'm trying to do. I legit have to write a script for it. And yeah. And also, this will be my first big preparation. Also, remember how I said back in a couple of videos ago, like nothing went over top. The 12k views. Well, I'm hoping this one. I'm really passionate in this project, and yeah, and I can't wait to do it with Jake Legend himself, Daikaiju Legends. I've been wanting to do a collab with him for the longest time. I just haven't had the time. Plus, I was also donating to Matt at the time, so that's probably the main reason why I couldn't do a collaboration. Most because uh, I didn't want, uh, <laughs> did not want to be spending like two hundred dollars just two hundred dollars for Patreon. <laughs> yeah, no offense to Matt, but yeah, that would have been a little bit too much. Yeah, no offense to Matt. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that. It's just uh, two hundred dollars for Patreon. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been uh, overkill. Plus, I don't think Patreon allows you to do like over two hundred dollars when it comes to donating to Patreons. I think you know, that's I don't know. I don't know what the budgetary regions of Patreon beats me, but <sighs> yeah, I'll be doing the collaboration. I plan to release it. It won't come out anytime soon because first, first things first, we probably do need a budget for this. And this is why the Patreon comes in for the hundred dollar because I'm probably gonna upgrade it just by fifty dollars just to get through it a little bit faster. So it'll probably be like a hundred fifty dollar tier just so we can actually get the budget going a little bit faster because I actually did the math. Like I plan to release this project. Don't worry, we'll probably release like a trailer during G Fest and then I will make like an announcement on when we to expect this project to be released. I'm hoping 2026. Because I do plan to premiere it at G Fest. That's one thing I'll say. I do plan to premiere it at G Fest. Probably not this probably not next year because it's um I'll probably try to release a trailer. Or next year, once I get things, once we get the project going. But basically, doing a Daikaiju Legends collab. Yay. But yeah, I've been wanting to do a Daikaiju Legends collab collaboration for quite a while. I just wanted to be doing something Zone Fighter related with him for quite a while. Same like Kaiju Studios. I just love his Zone Fighter series. And I've always wanted to do a collaboration with Zone Fighter. I just haven't had the time to do one. I should have probably asked him at G Fest, but I was kind of too shy. And plus, I was busy. And plus, I was going to go to like a video game contest, I believe. Like a Savior match, I believe, right after. I believe right after the Daikaju, Daikaju, the Zone Fighter episode nine premiere, which I still got the post right there, <laughs> signed by Jake. Yeah, I still because right after that, I legit had to go to like Godzilla Save the Earth, Save the Earth, 
uh, match. So yeah. So with that said, um, I am going to again, try again to contact with Jake so we can talk more about the collab and what I'm planning for the collab. Like first of all, I need to write the script for the collab. And yeah, that's gonna take a while. Because I have to write it um I legit have to write it in like Google Drive. And uh, yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a long script. I that's I'm gonna have to write in Google Sheets and then I'm gonna have to save it into Google Drive. And share it with Dark Hydra Legends, and yeah, that's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a long, long time for me to type that. And I'm also this collaboration will probably be like 20. I planned the video to be like 20 minutes long, and outro and intro will probably be like I think like intro will probably be like 30 seconds. It will probably be as long as that Zone Zone Fighter intro. Which I believe was 10 seconds. I believe. And then the outro that was in the zone that's been in Zone Fighter season two for a while will probably be will probably play like will probably play out. And then I believe that one was like a minute and thirty, I believe. I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah. I believe that one was like a minute and twenty, I believe. If I'm mistaken or not. But yeah. So total of one time probably be like twenty two minutes, like including outro and intro. But yeah. I can't wait for this collaboration. I'm hoping to get a collab, hoping to get a response something. <laughs> I'm really excited for this collaboration and yep. And as always, remember, stay big, G fans. See you in the next one. And also stay big Zone Fighter fans. And so watch Zone Fighter. I've only seen like clips of the show. I don't know where to actually watch Zone Fighter. I guess you can watch it on in that archive, I think. I don't know. I'll try to find Zone I legit only seen like clips of the entire show on YouTube. <laughs> because there is like no home video for release of Zone Fighter. Let's include the Japanese version without subtitles. But yeah. But with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.